What's up, fam? Darkstep here, and today, my friends, is a very exciting day, as this will be our last episode of House Flipper. I say that with happiness and with sadness, because we've had a long run to get here, it's been a lot of fun, but uh, now it's time to get into something brand new. So for our last and greatest episode, there is only one place for us to go, and that is the moon. You heard me right, folks. We are going to be going to the moon, and it is going to be spectacular. Look at these pictures. We are going to have some fun in the sun. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. Look at this, you can see the moon. You can see the uh, Tesla over there on the left side. I, I don't think it's a Tesla, I'm just going with that for, for the lulz. Look at this though, it does look like the, uh, the Cybertruck. <laughs> look at this, this is so cool. Oh, I was really hoping the jumping was gonna be like, gravity-ified, but no. What do we got over here? Oh, this is cool. Uh, is there no roof on this thing? Yeah, okay. Just checking. This is cool. This is, oh, I love this. This is like a greenhouse on the moon. Hey! <laughs> oh, this is so cool, guys. Oh my god. This is awesome. We are at the HFX Moon Facility. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what we got going in. Um, weird little double door situation here. Let's make it so we can breathe. There we go. We've got some lights going on. Ooh, a little dirty. Where'd you get mud on the moon, my friends? Hmm. What do we have in here? A little office, I guess. Oh, I like that ceiling. That's pretty cool. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's what you gotta do. Alright. What do we got in here? Ooh. Dirt. Ooh. Kind of cramped quarters. Little closet, I assume. Wait. What? This is a bathroom? You can't even lock the door. Ooh. That's scary. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. And what do we got over here? Ooh. I have seen nicer things, not gonna lie. What's out here? Door, door, door. Okay, doors everywhere. I like this light. Look at this. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, focus, focus. And that's the whole place? No, that's so small. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, there's really nothing much to do here, is there? Oh, we got another room here. Just a storage room. Like, once I clean this up, there's really not going to be much for me to do. Hmm. You know what, let's just get this cleaned up a little bit, and then uh, we'll go from there. When you're uh, watering this, it actually gets a little bit lighter. Okay, not that one. Like, look at that! Just changed just slightly. That's so cool. I don't know about you, but I think we need a new toilet. This one don't look too good. So let's just get rid of this one here, and we will get a new one. And toilet. Let's get uh, let's get this one here. We never use the flatty. Boom. Assemble. Just like the Avengers. There we go. Perfect. All right, we're getting there. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I like that. I really like that. That's cool. Oh, I wish I would have known about this one before. Huh. Cool. You know what you really need on the moon? Like, what you really need? You need a pool. But this pool, you can't put down. Are you kidding me? You can't put a pool on the moon? Negative 10 for realism in this game. <laughs> So, I gotta be honest with you folks, I, I don't really know what to do here. Like, 
This is the inside. It's all clean. I took all the bottles out. Like, yeah, it's it's clean. I, I don't know what else to do. Like, there's really nothing here to do. Like, I can't plant trees out here. Because they need this special thing. And I don't have this thing. I can't put a pool. Because... Apparently, pools don't go on the moon. I mean, makes sense. <laughs> but I don't... That is a nice view, though. I know I got sidetracked there, but that's, that's, that's nice. Maybe just look up at the stars for a minute. No. See, I don't know what else to do. Like, the inside was already done for me, and it looks good, like... If I did this for myself, like, I could cut down the number of beds and put, a like, a, a dresser here or something, but, like, it's not really going to do anything different. Kitchen. Like, this is pretty optimal. Like, yeah, I could get rid of this one here and put in a uh, oven or something, but, like, there's really not much here to do on this one. So, I think what we're going to have to do here is call this one in a day but we're gonna have to go back and do another one because there's no way that this is gonna be filling an entire episode that just it'd be it would feel like such a ripoff you know if I put this as the last episode with like three minutes worth of work so that's what we're gonna have to do so let's sell this guy here um, yep let's do the garden contest absolutely uh, let's go for uh, crop, I guess. Uh, no, nothing. Okay. Well, that's. I, I didn't really expect anything. Like most of this time here, 13 minutes was me just running and jumping around because I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> so let's put this up on auction here. Uh, spent roughly 591,000. I really did nothing. <laughs> And uh, sold it for 720000 giving us a profit of 128000 give or take. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's accept that offer. Let's see if there's any good pictures here. Um, yeah, it's okay. That's nothing really special. It's like, you see how little I did here. Like, it's already done. You don't have to do anything, so... I did do a lot of cleaning, that you, you could see there. All right, folks, we're gonna do the man cave. That's the one we're gonna do for no other reason other than it just sounded fun to me. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the man cave. You can see it looks pretty messy and beaten up here. So we're gonna have our work cut out for us, but let's get into it. Now, what do we have here? We have grass that is laggy to walk through. We have World's Best Dad, Bullseye, some other graffiti. Uh, yeah, looks like we got lots of weeds and stuff out here. We're gonna have some fun, okay. And a little deck, not much going on, so clearly I'm gonna have to get out the lawnmower. This is, uh, this is a garage. Looks uh, very small and run down. Uh, let's go downstairs first. Sure, nothing hiding here. Fuse box, okay. Let's get rid of some of this stuff here so I can actually use the... Oh! Oh! I know why they call this the man cave. Ooh! Don't need those. Okay. This looks stylish. How does it look with the lights? Oh, you gotta do the fuse first. Forget it. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. I like, I like. Okay. A little, little fireplace. Didn't even see that. Now, what do we have going on up here? This is... That was weird. Um... Just an empty room. Okay. I really gotta stop trying to turn everything on. <laughs> this is like your little living room, dining room, kitchen. 
right beside a washing machine? Okay. Ooh, I'm not even going in there. That's disgusting. What else we got? Anything? Just outside. Uh, that's the garage. Get those out of the way. Okay, so we got uh, a decent amount of space to work with. I'm not sure if I'm going to want to take any of this out. Uh, it's kind of cool having a little half wall in here. Hmm. You know what? Let me get this place all cleaned up. And then, um, then we can kind of go from there and see what we need to do. One change I did notice that they made was when you're cutting the lawn, things are no longer like a bright green color and you can just go through them. Like, normally this tree wouldn't be here. You can still go through it, but it just makes it a little bit easier to see that it's still a tree. Uh, as opposed to how it used to be of just making it like transparent and like see-through and green and... It, I mean, it did the job, but I like this little uh, quality of life improvement here that they've done. Because uh, that way you can still see if there's a bush there or a tree, and you can still go through it, but it doesn't like completely break the immersion, so well done game developers. I kind of like all these little shrubs in the front here. Probably keep them. I don't know. Uh, this is what we got so far though. Uh, garage, we've plastered in a few of the holes, kept the little uh, workbench here. Uh, everything else is being gutted. There we go. Um, it don't look pretty. It, it, it do not look pretty. So, I think I'm going to kind of keep... This is the front door. This is even an inside door. Um, I think I'm going to keep the downstairs the way it is. Because, like, this looks pretty cool. I don't think I could do a better job than this. Like, this looks really cool. Like, the, the use of the few different colors. Like, you have the, the, the wood here, the red, and then the brick. And, I don't know. I think they did a fantastic job down here. Let's turn the light on. Like, look at this! This is magnificent. I want a picture of this. But I don't have a good way to get a good picture. Look at that. Whew. This bathroom? This bathroom's killer! This bathroom is missing something. Let us get some lights in here. What lights do we want to go with? For our super cool man cave here. Let's go with the uh, solar chandelier. A little bit more in the center. That looks pretty good, I think. Uh, let's go with uh, elegant. Oh, double's cheaper, so let's go with double. I don't know why double's cheaper. Look at that. Now we good. Ooh, I like the design. That's cool. Cool. So yeah, I'm very happy with down here already. Uh, it's not very often you get to use these lights, but when you do, they look super cool. So. I mean, I might do something with this here for a little bit more storage, but, oops, but most of my attention is going to be put into up here. Now, this is the biggest area that I don't know what to do with. I might just extend this wall here just to kind of break it up a little bit and put the kitchen back in there. What happened to the light? The light just went out. Okay, it must be nighttime. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet so I'm gonna finish working on the downstairs and this bathroom here and then uh, we'll do a cut back just finish the garage here looking pretty good I wanted to go for more of a furnished garage so that's why I put the bricks on the wall I could have went with like a boring white and it just wouldn't have been fun so I really want to spruce it up a little bit so I did that Put in a couple shelves here, you can still get out to the window, you can still do whatever you want. You can be Thor because you have a hammer. Ah! <laughs> but yeah, that's the, that's the basics of the garage. I'm assuming, you know, a car would come in right to about here or so. So, you can still actually move around in here, but you can still get a car in, which is great. Downstairs, lots of water. And lots of other stuff. Now, I know this wasn't a prepper place, but come on. It's cool to have all this stuff, and why not, right? So you've got your, your first aid on each side, you've got a bunch of boots, some weapons, some hats, 
some masks, some meat, some more food, some soup, and some gas. And then just over here, just some random stuff, more supplies. Uh, didn't do anything really in here. Left it the same way it was because it is fantastic. Didn't touch this at all either. And that's about what we've got so far. So we're going to have to make do with making this into a bedroom. It's kind of scary having a door leading into your bedroom though. Like, that just doesn't sound safe. <laughs> oh well, what do I know, right? I gotta say, I had a lot of fun making this. This is our new bathroom. Lights here. Lights here. Unfortunately, this is just a little bit too small so you can see the white paint behind it. But, what are you going to do? A little towel rack to go for the shower here. And the toilet, obviously, with a shelf. You can put whatever you want there with a little uh, laundry area. And just a basic uh, sink. So, this didn't turn out too bad. I, I kind of like the way that it uh, turned out. But... If you want to see what I really like, check this out. Wow. This just might be my favorite picture right here. Like just the way the orange goes with the stone, goes with this, and this goes with the stone. It just, oh, I love this. Some of you may not, but I just, I think this would be a bomb place to live. Very happy. And of course, you got your little dog stuff over here. Very, very happy with how this turned out. Like, this is probably my favorite room that I've made. I've never really used orange before, but let me tell you, this works. Whew. Oh, so what I did, if you weren't paying attention, uh, I took out the bathroom that was here and I put it in here. This will give us a little bit of a little, kind of like a little lounge area, like for as soon as you come in. And uh, kitchen's going to be right here. And this is just kind of like a hallway out here. So our living room is going to be very small. But uh, yeah, I don't know why. Like this is very bright here, but there's no lights here. So I don't know if these are causing it. I guess they kind of go through the wall. <laughs> but uh, yeah, turn that off. Nope, still getting that bright. That must be coming from the other side. Wow, that's so bright that it goes through walls. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, kitchen's gonna go here, little lounge, living room is gonna go here, and then this will just be like a little storage area here um, for toys and Actually, it wouldn't be for toys because you don't have multiple people living in the house. Like, it's going to be for, like, one or two people. Like, there's one bedroom. Like, come on, right? Go with a nice brown door. What do you say? What are you saying, man? Ooh. Boop, 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 boop. Right there. Right there. I might have to do the outside because I don't know how I feel about this with this. And we'll see. But this is what we got inside. So as promised, we have a small little living room here with a little um, entranceway stuff thing. Uh, lobby. The word is, has lost me here. Front entrance. Ah, there we go. Uh, put a little poster here. And uh, there's our TV. We've already seen all the other stuff here. So now here's the kitchen. Gave it a strong orange accent wall to go with the um, orange on here. And uh, yeah, I haven't used the T-shaped the counter in a while, so I wanted to do that again. A little fridge. Put this thing in here. This is just more uh, storage and stuff, and that's basically what it is. <laughs> um, and then I just put a nice big picture of a fish here because I like fish, and I hope you do too. The last thing I want to do... Really proud of this, by the way, because it actually looks like, you know, you can open the window sort of thing, but it's actually the, just the door, but yeah. So anyway, um, 
Where was I? Oh yes, pool. I want to do a pool. I wanted to put a pool on the moon, but it wouldn't let me. So we're going to have to put one back here, and then we'll be able to call it a day. Uh, I like this one. So we're going to use this one here. Let's go for uh, uh, orange. This looks like a good area here. There. Boom. Place the pool. Cover the pool. Oh, I love that part. And then fill it up. And then we are good to go. Ah. And last thing here. Let's, uh, what do they call it in this game? No. Grill. That's right. Grill, grill, grill. So let's do uh, the Vengel. Vengel. Let's put that right over here. Boom. Uh, this one looks good. Yeah, I'm going to say gray. That's a little better. That'll go right here. There we go. The magic of editing made it appear instantly. Bam! <laughs> I think I am happy with this. Cool. So let us sell this place. We'll submit it for a garden contest. We will do American. All right, well, we get something at least. 12.5% extra. So let's fill this bad boy up for auction here. Uh, 232, 17, 6, 11. So we put about 243, 244 into the house. $1,000 that is, and right now the bidding's up to $343,922.31, making our profit $142,000. Very, very happy with that, folks, so let us hit uh, space to accept this offer, and let's check out some screenshots. Okay. Oh, I love that. That's pretty nice too. I do like that. That's, uh, it didn't do anything there. That's nice too. Yeah. And so it is with mixed emotions that we bring this series to an end. We had a lot of fun doing all the different houses, like we did, uh, um, Camping Bungalow is the first house we did. Called the Old People House. Didn't even have a door. <laughs> Oh, we're some of the good ones. Hacker Loft, we did that one. And uh, this is one of my favorites. I really enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun doing this one. Is this the one I think it was? Yeah. yeah you can't see much, but this was our little outside, uh, like, city park. Oh, I remember this with the little, like, uh, viewing TV here. Oh, this was another fun one to do. And uh, there's this one here, the turtle house. So what we just did with all the dragon balls. Didn't have the best pictures though, yeah. But this one's pretty good. Captures the uh, image pretty well of what we're going for. Oh, so many good ones, so many good ones. Before we close this off though, let's take a look one more time at our man cave that we made. Look at this. B-E-A beautiful. But all good things must come to an end, my friends. I really, really hope you enjoyed this series as much as I uh, did making it because it was a ton of fun. And please remember that uh, if you did like the video to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more daily awesomeness. We'll catch you in the future. Bye for now.